Hello, Mr. Kablev. This is the, your friend Denny from Quebec, Canada. I would like you to show you something I am proposing to implement in Double Commander, and it is called Three View Menu. Uh, why I would like to suggest that it is, for example, let's say uh, we talk about the Hot Directory. I am personally an avid user of Hot Directory, and sometimes I am tired to search. Uh, where my shortcut is and trying to find it. Uh, if I leave the keyboard uh, to m to move the mouse, eh, it's annoy annoying. And uh, if I use the keyboard, well, sometimes I have to move uh, through the list to find what it is with the arrow. So what I suggest instead, it is something based on a tree view uh, like that. So basically, it has the same exact thing as what we have in the uh, pop-up menu here but instead of being presented this way it would be presented like a tree view and what's interesting in that it is as I type something it highlight the the uh, letters I am typing and it will show only the uh, the item that have the DE in it for example if I would like to go in my folder where I have uh, my music uh, for Laurent Ruki I would have to go in CDML, music, and then Laurent Ruki. But with what I propose, I will simply type RU, just part of it. So immediately it found it, and then press enter, path, I'm there. Uh, same thing. Uh, let's suppose we continue with, uh, with it. So what we see uh, in blue are the letters that I type. As you can see, it is not case sensitive, but these are the options we have here. So if we select to be case sensitive, because my DE is in lower case, it will find, it will find only the DE in lower case. If I type it this way, it will find it in uh, upper. Uh, in French, uh, we have a lot of word with uh, accent. So if I type, uh, for example, television, so here it found, even if I type with uh, no accent, it will, it would find it. If I say to be strict, it won't find it. But I can say uh, to, to remove the accent. And uh, one other thing that I work a lot on it is regarding the word with ligature. In French, uh, we have some words that use that character, the O and the E tied together. And I have seen no program that I can type OE like that and it, that it would find it. So I'm very happy uh, to propose that. And uh, just to give you uh, an example, there is not uh, thousands of words like that, but there is a few words. And, uh, some, of the, and some of them are not rare words. They are words that we use uh, pretty often. Just to give you a translation in Russian, so he heard a few words that have the OE tied together, like uh, the sister, the word for sister in French, the word for the heart, the word for the high. So uh, all these are common words, so, I'm, so it would be a good thing uh, to have it uh, implement uh, this way. Um, so that's why uh, I spent some time to implement it. Uh, in the configuration, uh, we could configure where to use the tree view menu. It can be with the directory at list, with the favorite tab, and with the history. Regarding the directory at list, it could be invoked only on, uh, separately uh, if we use the shortcut from the internal command or when we double click. So for example, here if I double click, I have the traditional menu and if I use the uh, Ctrl D uh, shortcut, I have it uh, with the tree view menu. Uh, but obviously, uh, if I configure it to have it on double click, well, when I will double click on it, I will have it this way. But me personally, on the double click, I will not use that because if I use the double click, it's because I have my hand already on the mouse so that's why it could be a good thing to let them uncheck so so if i want to be efficient and use the keyboard i, I will i will use it that way and uh, if i want to use the mouse i will use it this way for example 
And uh, by the way, uh, there is something I forgot to mention. What we see in red between bracket are the keyboard shortcut. So let's suppose I press this and uh, I see that uh, what I want to use is uh, Hélène Jouin, Le Téléphone Son. Because there is a 2 there, I will press the keyboard alternate 2 and path. It will bring me immediately to the uh, shortcut, to the folder. And uh, like I mentioned here, uh, we can have it for the history. So uh, if I have it for the history, same thing. Uh, for example, this is for the, uh, for the, um, the uh, command line history. So I will, uh, would simply type uh, something like that, just a few letters, bang. And uh, it is ready to execute the command. And uh, I, all I have to do is to press the, the Enter key. Uh, same thing uh, regarding the uh, dear history, the directory history from the file view. Uh, same thing for the directory history. So uh, just type a few letters and uh, I'm ready to, uh, to go to the folder. Uh, regarding uh, that also, uh, on top, I was looking at uh, the top. Here we have the configuration. If we press there, it will bring us to the configuration immediately. Here it will bring us to the configuration of the color. So in the option in layout, tree view menu colors, we can immediately configure uh, the color and see the effect of it on the left side. So user could configure uh, the way he wants. Uh, why I have so many uh, identical icon here? It is because I'm proposing uh, to use or not the uh, tree view uh, menu. Uh, in addition to that, I propose to have, uh, for example, new parameters for the uh, command there at list. Uh, the menu type uh, would uh, be used to sp would be a parameter that we can set to use a pop-up or a tree view and then another parameter to say the position if it will be inside the panel or at the cursor position so that's what I tested uh, here for um, all these so this is the basic command the command with menu type pop up so this one when there is no parameter obviously it will depend of the option that we have here if it is on check like that the uh, the at least will be a pop up like always if we put it there it will be a tree view menu but uh, depending uh, but if we want to use absolutely a pop-up well uh, we have a button like that we configure the parameter to be menu type pop-up and it will be a pop-up and uh, then a pop-up in a panel or a pop-up at the cursor position so all these are buttons that I test for the uh, parameter for the dear atlas command I propose the same thing for the load favorite, menu type and position. Propose the same thing for the directory at list, menu and position. Same thing for the view history, uh, command line history. And also for the main menu, having the main menu with a tree view. Yes, uh, as I wanted to test my algorithm, uh, if we set the uh, CM show main menu with tree view, equal true when I will invoke uh, that so this is the menu we have there uh, to be honest with you I'm not sure <laughs> if it is very useful but I surprised myself last week when I tested it I was uh, searching for the flat view and I didn't find the flat view so just for fun I go there I type flat and bang I have now my flat view for the folder, so maybe they maybe they could have uh, some things. For example, someone who wants to show the file properties, just type property. Um, so maybe it it might be useful. Uh, second thing, uh, last thing is regarding the show button menu. This is something that have been uh, discontinued, that have been uh, stopped to be support. But I suggest maybe to support it again, and uh, again to as a parameter to have uh, the possibility of having a tree view and uh, that's what I did uh, with that button here uh, tree view equal true so when I invoke it there I have all the command 
that are configured in my bar that I have uh, here. So that's it for the suggestion I'm making. So I would like to know uh, if it's something uh, that uh, I could uh, commit in Double Commander. So please let me know. And uh, thank you very much for your time. I will send an email about that. Thanks.